two people had sex that the man deposited a snake inside of her something like that and i was like okay that's a diabolic thing subscribe button below and hit the bell so that when there's a new video you get notified my name is Fadeke Me I'm a Christian lifestyle blogger and youtuber in Lagos Nigeria okay so if you watched my last video where I talked about um, if two believers have sex before marriage will their marriage be cursed I also talked about soul ties. I said um, I do not know if I completely believe in soul ties. Now, ever since I got made that video, I've been getting many messages of people who believe in soul ties and others that do not believe in soul ties. And it just opened my eyes to see something. I got two peculiar messages that stood out. A particular person told me that she had been having sex with this guy that she wasn't married to. and. She's attached to him. She can't get over him. She's like even when the guy says he cannot, he's no more doing. She's still interested. She still, she just can't get over him. I got where this babe was telling me about an experience of a married person who, even after having sex with that person, way before she got married, she was still feeling the person in a marriage home guys <laughs> and all these um, these messages just stood out to me to understand that yeah maybe there's such a thing called soul ties but not in the context of the way nigerian preachers put it like i've had nigerian preachers that told me that the same stories like when i was in uni a particular pastor <clears throat> came out was talking about how when two people had sex that the man deposited a snake inside of her, something like that, and I was like, okay, that's a diabolic thing. That's not the, the thing with everybody that has sex. Now, obviously, I'm not encouraging fornication. I'm just trying to say that we don't have to twist scripture. We don't have to make the gospel scary just so people will not do something. So my point? My point is there is such a thing as soul ties because even the scripture tells us that when you sleep with someone, you become one with the person. time to check out what soul ties actually mean what people mean when they say soul ties so i realized that there's a own and there's a nigerian context the nigerian context says that you need deliverance you need to be prayed for fasted for so that you can break free hallelujah but the onyibo soul ties just means that you're attached to the person you're emotionally invested in the person and you will need to renew your mind you will need to change your mind you will need to focus on god you need to break free from that relationship first and let go of every sexual relations and then you'll be free so looking at the two of them i just come in the middle and say that yes i do believe that when you have sex with someone especially if there's an exchange of fluid then something has gone on in there but and you take the person's blessings and curse. That um, when you come into Christ, let's say it was in your past life before you became a Christian or before you became born again, you were doing that. When you come into Christ, you become a new man. So. You can, you are free, okay? You are not taking the person's course, you are not taking the person's blessings. Stop that. You are not married. I think marriage, people always mix it up. Marriage is more deeper. Okay, if you don't consummate your marriage, does that mean that you guys are not one? Exactly. Like, what if you guys get married and you know you had sex? You're still one. The, the ceremony, the, I don't know, the, 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 the mindset that yes you are married is what makes you married is what makes you one 
I don't think it's particularly the sex. If you have sex with someone and you're feeling attached to the person, what you need to do is renew your mind, let go of that relationship, stop calling that person. I recently gave someone like an advice or mentorship, I don't know what to call it, but like, I told her to block the guy's number. Block is like on following on Twitter, on following on Instagram. So I want this video to be as short as possible. So I'm gonna end it here. Remember, you can reach me on Twitter, Instagram at Fadikev that underscore. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share to everyone that you know. I'll talk to you guys later.